The ultimatum. The Anglo-Boer War officially started on 11 October 1899 after the ultimatum by the South African government to the British was rejected. The ultimatum by the Transvaal authorities stated that the South African government of the time believed that the British government was unlawfully interfering with the internal affairs of the country. The Transvaal government wanted to safeguard the interests of the Republic and thus the ultimatum demanded that the British comply with the following. All points of mutual difference shall henceforth be settled by arbitration. All British troops stationed on the borders of the Republic shall immediately be withdrawn. All reinforcements of troops that have arrived in South Africa since 1 June 1899 shall be removed from South Africa within a reasonable time frame. British troops en route to South Africa by sea shall not be landed in any part of South Africa. The ultimatum declared that should the British government not provide a satisfactory response to these demands by 5 p.m. on 11 October, the government of South Africa will be compelled to consider the lack of compliance as a declaration of war. The State Secretary, F.W. Reitz, personally delivered the ultimatum in an enclosed envelope to the residence of Sir William Conningham Green, the diplomatic representative of Great Britain at the time, at 5 p.m. on 9 October 1899. On 11 October, Sir William Conningham Green personally handed a letter in response to President Paul Kruger, which read as follows. Her Majesty's Agency, Pretoria, October 11th, 1899. Sir, I am instructed by the High Commissioner to state to you that Her Majesty's Government have received with great regret the peremptory demands of the Government of the South African Republic, conveyed to me in your note on the 9th instant, and I am to inform you in reply that the conditions demanded by the Government of the South African Republic are such as Her Majesty's Government deem it impossible to discuss. I have the honour to be, sir, your obedient servant. Signed, W. Cunningham Green, C.B. Immediately after handing over this letter, William Cunningham Green left Pretoria, and on his arrival at Cape Town a few days later, he was accorded a magnificent reception. A crowd of 3,000 people who had gathered sang, Rule Britannia! and God save the Queen. And so, when the time expired as demanded in the ultimatum, the Second Boer War, later known as the Anglo-Boer War, started.